Is there any students here tonight? If there is any students in here tonight, try to take up history. Try to take up geography. They are good subjects. History and geography. You can learn about things what's happening now in the world. Why it's happening. Study geography and history. You heard about the River Nile, haven't you? Well, the River Nile starts in Africa as a trickle of water and turns into many oceans and seas. That's a part of history and also geography. Check it, all students. influence on the music true that's my belief and things still you know so that's what really put me in tune with things still listen to the music so I mean your inspiration is Rasta Jarvis correct no other <laughs> nothing more and nothing less no, it's just oh, how can I explain it now <laughs> Well, I, to the belief of Rastafari gives man many different visions and different feelings still and that's what we implement in our music so, for one who's really over on that scale there then boy you can really understand what I'm dealing with most of the people out there come to the dances and stuff like that and that's where they get a real understanding of the music and of the whole rest of fear and faith and things still so yeah the music the music is a major part of it but boy there's a spiritual part of it as well you know and the godly part of it speak for myself you know it's not a color thing it's not a boundary thing you know the message of Jai is universal for all conscious people with ears to hear and eyes to see what is going on around them you know it doesn't just affect the black man it just don't affect the white man it affects everybody so no it's a universal message for everyone to, to take to take you know? all over the world you know you find in every country there is a you know community that can relate to the roots music, you know. I mean, it's coming from Jamaica, but right now it's, it's adapted all over the world. Every country you go, there's an audience there for it. Mm -hmm. And whatever part of the reggae that they pick up on, they usually, you know, go back to the roots or whatever. Because a lot of the artists that are still around that are singing, lots of them, you know, you still find a lot of roots artists that it would be more, you know, dominant than, you know, the ones who are singing maybe the Lovey Dovey. But the Lovey Dovey ones usually get picked up by the major companies or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. The Roots one, you know, maybe for what the message is about, you know, on a worldwide scale, 
they would like people to be loving, you know, because if people just stop doing wrong all over the world, a lot of things wouldn't be selling, you know. So I think maybe that's why they're holding back the roots music for the message, you know, because, I mean, lots of the time it's saying, look, change the situation around you, you know, whatever, you know, exploiting or, you know, you're going through, you know, we see, you know, you could change it. So if you just imagine, you know, like one day everybody say, okay, yeah, we're going to listen to this cultural music and we're going to try and live up, you know, a lot of people go to business, so. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Trouble day again. Hey, 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 hey. Trouble day again. I say you put it down again. I know you take it up again. I say you put it down already. I know you take it up again. <laughs> The dub itself and reggae music as a whole has been used as a vehicle for carrying a message across. And the message was very powerful. Now the, the, the dub itself is the vehicle for that message. For instance, you're feeling down, you're feeling whatever mood you're in and the music draws you in because it takes up all your attention and it's got its own built-in set of rhythms and a driving force and so music itself is actually alive how it affects people i'm sure that after on hearing dub and after going into that world they've opened up a new set of doors that can be um, unexplainable doors that can't be talked about doors that are um, in your subconscious can be taught um, you can reason and feel them with the music that's what dub, that's why this is where i feel that dub is coming from and going. I started making reggae about 1985 from listening to it from about 1978 um, myself, my brother Lowell, who's the other half of the disciples, was, was listening to reggae from about 1971. Um, you tighten up club reggae kind of thing. Um, we, in '76, we both got into the punk thing, uh, which a lot of people think is the thing that makes white, or, or was the thing that made white people of my age get into reggae, but it wasn't. We, both been into reggae before that in a way him stronger than me but um it was just a you know we had a love for reggae music I remember when I started first listening to it um you know dub was one of the one of the things that I was kind of really listening to Joe Gibbs chapter 3 was the first album that I got uh, Shaka used to run a, a, a shop arts and craft culture shop in New Cross and we went down there, drove down there. Uh, he wasn't there at the time, but we left a dub plate with this guy, and the guy said, come back on Saturday, um, Shaka will be in. So Saturday come, went down there. Shaka's there holding a the dub plate, said, uh, you know, I'd like four cuts of each of these tunes. And there was nothing about us being white or anything like that, you know, there was no, there was no kind of look or anything, you know. It's, even from the guy that was in the shop first off, he just, you know, you, you play the dub plate and was kind of moving to it and was looking at us, you know, sort of with a bit of disbelief even. Um, so we never had any kind of problems with us being white and doing that because there wasn't any other white people as far as we knew doing anything, making reggae or anything like that. Especially that kind of stuff, you know, you had UB40 and all that, but that's pop music. Um, like I said, he wanted four cuts, so this come down to the next dance for the following week. So I went to this dance, and it was just, um, it was awe-inspiring.
turned up the bass and we felt the bass. I remember looking at my brother and and, and thinking I ain't going to be able to breathe. It was that heavy, you know, when it first come on. I just like, stand there. Oh, you know, I'm going to be able to take this. I'm going to die in this session. But you take your next breath and you get through it. And, uh, you know, he was just playing the style of music that he was playing as well. It's, there was tunes I remember him playing on that, that first night that we had even, as record collectors, we had got rid of because on record they didn't sound that interesting. You know, they were just a, a stepper's tune with, with a vocal on top and not much else. He didn't have Tubby's mix in it or Scientist. You know, it just went just kind of straight run through. Shaka played it and then it's like, you know, boom, 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 and high tops and all that kind of stuff and sirens way and it's like, oh hell. You know, I mean, I got rid of that record. It didn't sound nothing on, you had to go out the next day trying to hunt it down and stuff. But it, it kind of, from that session, you could really get an understanding of, of what that music was being made for. <laughs> I think that dub is going to be, or and is, one of the greatest healers of mankind. At the end of the day, you know, we're only speaking words, good words. You know, we're not telling anyone to kill anybody because you don't believe in this, you don't believe in that. You know, that's one thing. Like, if you come to a gathering, it's not a thing that we're forced upon you. Mm. It's something that, boy, you will feel within your heart, you'll feel welcome and you'll come and you'll express yourself you know, without worrying about this person looking at you and that person looking at you, you know. You know, just freeing, freeing yourself up which is well, a nice thing to do in this time and still. <laughs>